So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this one uh, on the uh, YouTube. I'm gonna be quiet here because it's late. I don't wanna mess with my roommates here. So um, I'm making this video. This is not a funny video. This is me being a whining bastard again. That's right. I like to whine, and uh, I'm whining this time about the fact that life is meaningless. I mean, you know. I'd love to believe that there's an afterlife, I really would, but it does seem like wishful thinking because there's just no evidence that such a thing exists, you know, not that there's just any evidence to the counterpoint, but I haven't seen any supernatural type of things going on at all. Um, and you know, science, which seems to know more about the world than you know, faith, at least, I mean, science has some, you know, provable outcomes, you can fly, you can make a boat, I guess they sort of had boats a long time ago, so that's some old science, but still science, they have the wheel, you know, and, uh, what am I trying to say here, basically, you know, what is there, what is there worth doing at all, you know, I'm getting old, getting closer to my death and you know my problem is for me is I screwed up I screwed up royally you know I should have I was I just started learning to put the piano recently when I was 20 years old that's when I started playing and I sort of made that you know everyone's got to pick that sort of life's mission I made that my mission I was like all right I'll play piano, that's it, I'm gonna be music, I'll be a virtuoso, and then everyone will love me, and I'll be great, eventually, you know, I'll finally have found my life's meaning through music, and, and this doesn't happen as, uh, as easily as I thought it would, you know, it's been six years, you know, that's, that's I guess that's not too long, you know, six years, I mean, and most people will probably take maybe ten years before you can really consider yourself really good, some people pick it up, I know that little girl, whoever, and that girl is on YouTube, I hate her, and, I'm, and at the same time, you know, I don't love her, because she's so much better than me, whatever your name is, you're, you kick ass, but I hate you for it, because damn it, I can't be that good in two years, I spend four or five hours a day practicing in the freaking practice room, I'm not half as good as I should be, given the amount of time I put in. So basically, you know, I look at that and think, well, maybe I'm not a naturally talented piano player. And, you know, that wouldn't really come as a surprise. I'm not naturally talented at much, in general. So, uh, that's disappointing, you know. The thing I decided to devote my life to, I'm not that good at, you know. So what does that leave me? nothing. Everything else is pointless. What am I going to do? Oh, I could study physics, so what? I'm never going to be another Einstein, you know. I'm not that creative. I just, know, you know, I, I know I don't have any outstanding characteristics. I'm sure I'm with a lot of people, but for those other people who may also be on YouTube just because they got nothing better to do, doesn't that annoy the hell out of you that you're never going to do anything that means anything? Never actually, you know, make some ground push the limits, you know, do something that hasn't been done, no, you're just one of a mass of humanity who's waiting around until the time comes when you just bite it, you, you, you freaking, you know, you die, and that's it, and what was that whole life about, oh, well, you know, you had the life experience, there you go, but, you know, what's the point? You know, the point is just to live your life. I'm sorry, but that seems, just seems, you know, I mean, I guess it depends on what you do with your life, but for me, you know, it's like, I want, you know, out of my life, I want to believe that, that I did something that I could be proud of, you know, look back and say, hey, you know, I, I did good. I, I made progress, I, well, not progress, but I, I did something that anyone could be proud of, and I'm not talking about, you know, if you went to study, if you went to school, you became a doctor or something like that, you know, 
Sure, you can be proud of being a doctor, or you can be proud of being an engineer, or something like that, but how proud of it can you be? Because there's thousands of doctors, there's thousands of engineers, there's thousands of checkout people, you know, any, any number of jobs. So it's like, you know, you just did what a bunch of other people have already done, you know. Well, I mean, that's, it's valuable service to this society, but what are you supporting? You're supporting some, you know, very possible, supporting some suicidal, you know, life form, being humanity or whatever. I mean, you look at the way we're headed, and it doesn't look good. At least to me, it doesn't look good. There's no doubt that we're not going to be surviving, you know, forever. And the amount of time we've already been around is just a blink of the eye, you know. Does it matter that the dinosaurs existed? They may as well not have existed, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so they have bones left around them. We have all these stories about lizards and, you know, you have stories and things like that, but it doesn't really make any difference. And I'm just going off on a tangent here, but basically, I wish I could do something that I was proud of. And uh, as of yet, that has not happened. And no, I'm not proud that I lost all that weight because as far as I'm concerned, I went back to square one. Now I'm at like level from here. It'd be nice if I could get these something I could be proud of, and I think it's gonna be my piano playing ability because I just don't seem to be particularly gifted. It'll be 30 years, and I'll be a 50 year old man, and by then I'll just say, "Well, it's about effing time that I freaking picked it up." Anyway, okay. Good night.